But on the wines, I mean, I have to say I was only familiar with the Syrah before. <coughs> Um, but I mean, for me, with all the reds, right from the first the Corella, they have this lovely sort of clean, natural flavours, purity of fruit, and that, and that sort of for me goes right through the whole range. And they're, they're really, they're lovely, one, really well made, and they express the grapes, and I think they're very impressive. In the UK, at if you like, base, basic levels. I can get the Syrah, I can get the Chamin, and so can other people very easily. Chamonix. Chamin I know I say it wrong, but thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm just a common old working chap. Does anyone here can see, but no, no distribution of those last four wines, although they are top, top level wines, those really sing for me. And I think most of the colleagues around here, I, I know they are relatively expensive, but with the right promotion they will yeah. do particularly well in the UK. <coughs> so I think I was actually very pleased to have the Chamine White because I thought that was absolutely mm. gorgeous mm. and as my colleague said one of the best we've had here this week really no bullshit it was absolutely <laughs> lovely and I want to get hold of some of that <laughs> myself personally. Can I quote you on that? You may. <laughs> Um, you may. There's a container being sent to my address as we speak. But seriously, that was good. I'd never tasted a Corella before, and, and that was a, a, new, uh, in, a new experience for me. What I thought, it's my job to, to do the thank you, and I thought it's probably better to do it earlier when everybody's here. It's been a privilege for me to return after four years, and as I said to Carrie, I can recall tasting Touriga Nacional in barrel and I was blown away with it and it's really nice to have come back mm. and tasted it in bottle. But when we came up the drive I was worried because we had a man on a quad bike who looked like he may have a pistol <laughs> um, and he would not allow us to pass. I thought, what have we done wrong? But thankfully Antonio seemed a very nice chap and took us in to see some Graziano being harvested. They were sitting down for their rest, but nevertheless it was indicative for us of the things that you're experimenting and doing. And this is important that although you have this you know, well-earned reputation for things that you do, you're looking to do new things, and Pativo Do and Graziano and Viognier we noticed in the white. So this is tremendous for us. So really on behalf of the Association of Wine Educators, thank you for the privilege of revisiting you. It, it, for, I know for all of us, it's, um, for me, it's been a shining light of, 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 a, of a row of wines, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm sure my colleagues done so far. Firstly, Antonio, without his mask and pistol, bet, looks better that way. Uh, and for Carrie and Hans, thank you very much. I know we all enjoyed it, and I look forward personally to coming back again, and I know many of my colleagues will, so thank you. Thank you.